Good evening, I'm Samantha Heathwood. Tony Abbott swept through Grantham today to oversee the town's recovery, just six days shy of the flood disaster's first anniversary. The opposition leader was on hand to inspect one of the community's hardest hit local farms. The Darling Downs will have its first real taste of summer as a hot air mass filters through the region over the coming days. Temperatures in some towns are expected to soar to up to 40 degrees. Meanwhile, it's almost a year since the January 10 flood stole dozens of lives and devastated communities across the region. Lockyer Valley residents are preparing to commemorate the occasion with a special day of remembrance for those we've lost and for those whose lives were changed forever. If you thought it was time to escape the holiday season marketing, think again. Just a few days into the new year and our local supermarkets are already promoting hot cross buns for Easter. Back you're watching Win News. The fundraising target of Toowoomba's iconic Christmas Wonderland has already been reached, even though the money's still being counted. Organisers estimate the extravagant lights display attracted around 70,000 people over its 22 nights. A locally made and produced low-budget movie has captured the attention of some of the country's directing heavyweights. One June afternoon is not only creating a buzz in the film industry, but the team behind it has managed to nab two of Australia's fastest rising bands to feature on the soundtrack. It'll be one to watch. My word. So what's next with Pat O'Shea and the long recovery continues for Christy Banks. Yeah, that's right, Sam. She remains in the Princess Alexandra Hospital. We'll have an update on her condition after the... Thanks, Pete. Join us tomorrow night for the best hour of news in the country from 6pm. From all the team, have a great night. Good night.